I'm privileged to be here with Felicity, your avid adventurer, explorer, scientist, speaker, and you've just done some incredible challenges. Marathons in the Sahara, um, skiing solo across Antarctica, first female expedition across Greenland. Like, what can you not do, really? <laughs> I can't cook. <laughs> there we go, that's one thing. <laughs> so tell me, what was the most challenging out of all of those? Uh, well, each of them has sort of is challenging in their own way. So some of the expeditions, um, for example, the one going alone across Antarctica, it was about you know dealing with that solitude and with the the, the scale of that challenge for me. Um, and then there are other expeditions like uh, the team expedition across Greenland or the international women's expedition to the South Pole, where the challenge has been in uh, creating that team and keeping that team together. So for me personally, it's a challenge as a leader as well as a challenge physically and mentally like every other member of that team. So each one, I like to think that when I put together an expedition, you know, it's, it's challenging in a new way for me so that each time I'm pushing myself in some form or another mm. in, a, in a different way. Yeah. It's got to have that interest. Yeah. Mm. And what inspires you to keep leading these expeditions and, and consulting all these various others as well? I think if I had to sum it up in a word, it's curiosity. You know, I sort of start thinking about things. I think, what would it be like if, you know, could, could this be possible? Is it possible to do X, Y, Z? Um, and curiosity about the people I travel with, too. So the most recent expedition, uh, the Euro Arabia North Pole expedition, it was about my personal curiosity about uh, the lives of women in the Middle East and uh, why there seems to me to be a sort of lack of relationship between women in Europe and the Middle East. Um, and so that was the seed of the idea that then sort of grew into an expedition. And uh, that tends to be what happens yeah. each time. <laughs> it's it a worked small out idea. so well, though. It's fantastic hearing their stories here tonight. What would you say would be is your proudest moment? Oh, gosh, uh, there are so many proud moments. But I think um, still when I receive an email from someone who's heard about one of these expeditions or has read one of the books or, you know, and they're saying... Things like, I always wanted to learn a language and now I read your book and I got my act together and did it. Or I've always wanted to start a business or I've always wanted to run a marathon and I've just done my first 10K. And, you know, the, the idea that something you have done has influenced someone else um, to do something they really want to do. You know, that's amazing. And, uh, yeah, if you just make a small difference, then I believe that's a great contribution. Is that what you hope to achieve today at the Women's Adventure Expo? Well, just generally across the board with the expeditions as well. You know, I, I'm very troubled by the fact that right now I live in a world where not every woman is free to make her own choices in life. Um, and I feel a responsibility to do something about that. And uh, I'm not a politician. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not an aid worker. So what can I do? Well, I thought, well, if I turn what I do well into addressing this uh, subject somehow um, you know if every woman did that turned what they did really well into making it a better place for other women out there um, you know so I hope that that's what I'm doing in my own way by putting together these expeditions um, to inspire others to do whatever it is they want to do um, so that's my small contribution <laughs> well, it's a fantastic one um, and would you have any advice for someone if someone's thinking about doing something that's going to push their boundaries start absolutely start there is never going to be a perfect set of circumstances and it's too easy to say i will just wait until this is right or that is right or the economic situation is right or you know there's a hundred million reasons but just start you just have to make yourself make that first step and then you'll find that you'll gain momentum and before you know it you'll be on the star line <laughs> wonderfully inspirational words thank you so much for talking to us uh, it's a pleasure thank you